Welcome to Arizona Gardening with Robin Sherry. Well, hello from Arizona, guys. Today is an interesting day for gardening. So today, you guys have seen how we've done our square foot gardening, and I've got our new uh, uh, garden over here, which is you can see over here. And today, we're going to set up a watering system. Why? Because Rob and Sherry are going to go catch up with the RV pretty soon for about a week and we don't have anybody to water our um, garden so we need to put an automatic system in so we are going to attempt to put in half inch hose and uh, we have all the different fittings and things like that we're going to use a, a hose faucet timer and what else we got all the different fittings that go with this pipe and we need to put a uh, high-tech little splitter uh, over in the house here and uh, so we're going to bring you along on this project the goal is is each individual square will get it watered with its own little hose going to it so we're hoping the concept works <laughs> so we'll see anyway we have a little breeze today so we might hear some wind so sorry anyway so join us we're going to put in a watering system Okay, so this is just a reminder of what we have here. So we have uh, these four squares are four foot by four foot. And uh, we're going to literally have pipe around everything. And then we're going to branch off little seedling, you might say, uh, hoses to all the different plants here. So our intake will be down here. And we have a hose setting right here. So we don't have very far to go. And uh, so the first thing we'll be doing is taking down the fencing. I do have another trellis to put up today, um, just to show you. <coughs> There's the little, the little peas down there are starting to grow and they're going to start going up the trellis. So we have to get those installed and we have a couple more plants to put in. And so uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy day. Okay, so I wanted to show you, because we're putting in this kind of hose and we're going to have hose around every edge. So we're putting in T-fittings in 90 degrees fittings and everything will be covered. Then from there, we're going to put little uh, probes into the side, I don't know what you call them, feeders, which will go to etch each square foot. So anyway, and then down here is where we're going to put the connector with the special, uh, uh, takes a pressure reducer. And we'll be hooking to the hose that's right there and of course I can't get the hose off the fitting because it's been on there for a year so I gotta get some tools for that but anyway yeah we're getting there I'll show you more when we're done all right guys so we put in the whole main system which goes around every square every part of it so we either used 90 degrees or T fittings and uh, this is where the input will be so now what we're going to do is run little hoses, this little quarter inch ho uh, hose we have, to each plant that's going to have its own little uh, waterer. So all we have to determine is where we want to tap into the sides and do little punches, put in an adapter, put in the hose, and customize it to the way we want it. So, and it's warm outside, but the bird's doing really good. That's uh, broccoli there, and a whole bunch of spinach over there. We got more strawberries coming. And those are radishes, and all kinds of good stuff. So, next step is the little baby hoses now. So we uh, hooked up our first little hose. Sherry, show me your little hose. So we hooked up first little hose, and we did a water check, see if it actually works, and it does. <laughs> so all we have is 16 more crazy little hoses to put in. But uh, yeah, that's the idea. So yeah, we're getting there. This is looking pretty good. And, uh, got my helper. It's kind of tedious, but it's working really good. As we tap into each part of this hose with little sprinkler systems. And uh, what's nice about this is we can tap in anywhere we want and the water pressure should be okay. And uh, so our little tests we've done so far have been working pretty good. So. Uh, we kind of determined we can pre-cut our little hoses, put in the taps, put
put in the little sprinkler systems on each one and plug them in. And uh, unfortunately, it's time consuming. So, uh, and hard on your fingers. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's how it works. So well, we're still pre-cutting all these little hoses here, right here. I wanted to show you how we tied down the uh, the, the main one-inch pipe, which we kept it simple. Instead of using clamps, all we did was uh, drill holes right here and just use, use ties, and uh, which has worked out really good because we've had to take some ties off in order to get the tool on it. So it's been nice to have these clamps because we've had to t cut some of them off just to get the tool to work to punch holes in the side of it so and uh, but all in all it's actually coming together really good so you can see everything here we've got two footers and one footers and uh, it's really the slowest process is putting a little hose in so the big hose was a piece of cake and uh, our water system we're getting that put together and it seems to be working okay all right so we got this all finished and uh, we, we actually don't have the pressure up completely, but you can kind of see how it's working. So the uh, garden, everything's getting watered from the ground. And one of the problems we have here in Arizona is our water is really hard, and so it's a better it's better to ground water these plants than to spray them, because uh, you can get kind of these yellow leaves, and uh, especially on the spinach and stuff like that. So we wanted to get a ground system. So yeah, we're really happy. Oh yeah, another thing I didn't tell you is we got the other trellis up, and uh, they're kind of wobbly, but we haven't bolted in. We're going to run two uh, extra lines from the top to here to uh, just stabilize them, and it's because we get kind of uh, out of the blue winds that can really get uh, up to 30, 40 miles per hour just for like 30 minutes. So uh, we're kind of worried about the trellis getting pulled over, so we're going to tighten her down and just string them from the top down. It may not look pretty, but who cares? It's all about the plants. So, yep, there she is. And by the way, that's spinach over here. And uh, we've been harvesting that almost every week. It grows like crazy and it's good stuff. What kind of spinach is it? Mustard spinach. It's a mustard spinach. And we have some regular spinach behind it. But the mustard spinach is incredibly fast growing. So, yeah, it's getting there. Okay, so our next problem is we're doing this because we got vacation. Is we got three plants up here. These are strawberries, and then over here is our tomatoes. So we don't want to run a hose to the tomatoes. So we're going to move the tomatoes over here. But we are going to extend our water system to come up here. So we're going to go to the store, buy more of the one. Is it one fourth? hose and tap into our curtain. Anyway, we'll tap into the system over here. Come over here. Sorry about the sun. We're going to run around along the rafters of the uh, porch and put drip lines on all three plants. How's that for a plan? So stay tuned. We got more to go. Okay guys, so we got the trellis done and we kind of also uh, put some uh, stabilizer string in here just to keep it from wobbling and we attached it to the house so that should hold it in place and then got rid of the big hose and just put this simple system in we're gonna make this part one part two is gonna be our second system for the strawberries we're gonna tap off of that corner there and work our way up here up to the uh, porch and run along the edge We've got everything we need except a few little things uh, and we got a done deal. If you're wondering what we did with that big old hose, we uh, bought a, a hose wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> we really needed one bad. So the next thing we're going to do is also move those tomatoes over to where Sherry's at there. 
and that'll be in the next video so this is part one we'll see you in part two thanks for watching sorry about the sun have a great day bye hey thank you so much for watching part one of gardening with robin sherry please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world and stay tuned for the next day for part two